Hello guys, welcome back to Sweet and Sour Soccer. Today is Monday the 4th of May. <laughs> we are doing a La Liga special today. We haven't done one yet. We, we thought about this a few weeks ago, didn't we? And yeah. we just wanted to see how, um, how it kind of panned out because Sevilla went on an incredible one uh, run. They've won four of their last five games. Guys, before we dive in, do hit that like button. Do hit that subscribe button. We have been riding a wave lately. That has been incredible. So thank you for your support. Um, Scott, uh, the Spanish, uh, Spanish title race at the moment, compared to the English title race, this is really a joy to behold. It is, it is. It's uh, nice to see, you know, still four teams in it. Obviously, Seville messed up. Oh. Um, yeah. yeah, Seville messed up at the uh, the weekend, didn't they? Uh, last night, actually. It was Shame a 90th really. minute winner, for, yeah. which was just, uh, you know, Williams with the goal. Uh, that that could have really set it up even nicer. This video would have probably been even nicer to discuss and dive into. But let's not write them off because there is some fixtures coming up that are really going to help shape this title. And that's why it's even more interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, just for anyone that is watching that um, isn't keeping up to date with what's happening in La Liga, you've got Atletico Madrid, who you mentioned off screen, had a 12, 13 point gap early on in the season. Yeah. Always a dangerous thing to have when it's so early in the season mm -hmm. because you get a bit complacent. But Atletico Madrid are in first on 76 points. You've then got the two powerhouses of European football, Barcelona and Real Madrid both on 74 points, two points behind Sevilla, who we mentioned, on 70 points. Would have been 73 if they had won their last game, but I've still won four out of five. And as you mentioned, the next two games are huge. Barcelona versus Atletico Madrid, that is at the Camp Nou. Uh, and then you've also got Sevilla Madrid, which is at the Bernabeu. Um, these are even bigger than in like, what it would be in England because obviously, you know, the La Liga, they do it based on head-to-head, -head, don't they? Yeah. The goal difference, which is really significant. Uh, you know, this is going to be a massive one. If Seville could get a win, if a Barcelona can get a win, for example, yeah. they're going to be in, you know, it just gives them such an advantageous point over the others. It's an odd one, isn't it? Head-to-head um, -head in England... I don't even know where it ranks in importance. Like we go points, goal difference, and then I think it's goals scored. Then I believe it's amount of wins. Mm. I, I think head to head comes six or seven from the list, but it's second only to points in Spain. It's quite incredible. Yeah, definitely, definitely, and it's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? Um, all, all four teams are within it. Obviously, Seville had a massive, a, a bit of a massive slip up last night, but yeah. Uh, they're not the only ones to have been slipped up. Barcelona, they obviously got, came back, I think, from behind to get the win win at the weekend. But before that, they had a shot resort where they lost 2-1 to uh, Granada. Um, yeah. you know, there's a few shock draws coming in. Uh, we've mentioned already, haven't we, Atletico Madrid. They uh, had a 12-point gap and the Liga looked to be a bit boring. It looked like it was all dead uh, they were riding high. Suarez was banging in the goals, and then yeah, he was. The four, it's yeah. just gone. It just seems to have just gone, and suddenly we've got this massive wide open there, La Liga, which is going to be a really interesting showdown. You've got to think Sevilla have definitely made it interesting in the last month or so, winning four out of five. Um, they're six points behind Atletico Madrid. Are we being a bit more romantic with it than perhaps? In reality, six points with four games. I mean, if that was a relegation battle, you probably wouldn't give the team six points behind with four games to go any chance. You've got to think if Atletico get a point against Barcelona in the next game, mm -hmm. you've got to think then that's really it for Sevilla, especially if they don't get the win in their game against Real Madrid. I agree. I think they have got to win it. And I probably agree with you as well that they probably do need Barcelona to win against that left yeah. game Madrid as well to stand a chance. So, yeah, it is a bit more romance, I guess. But, uh, you know, especially before the game yesterday, they really would have had a chance. I mean, if they had got that win... Can you imagine? If they we were sitting we would have been talking about them points. level on points, wouldn't we? Well, we, they'd, be on seven, they'd be on 73 points and there'd be a win 
behind uh, Atletico Madrid and yeah. a point behind Barcelona and Real. I mean, they have done increase. If any Sevilla fans watching this, oh, I'm very surprised, but you never know. Um, you, you've done an incredible job to even have your name in the hat for something like this. Um, I mean, if we could choose who we'd like to win out of the four, I think as a a fan of football, we would like to see Sevilla win it because, you okay. know, they're, they're, they're the new kids on the block, let's say. I know Atletico Madrid don't win titles very often, but they've been in that mix for 10 plus years now with Simeone. Um, who would you like to win out of the three? Me personally, if I could choose, I'd like Atletico Madrid to win. It depends, actually, doesn't it? I think if um, if it is going to be Messi's last year, maybe it would be nice for him to finish with a yeah. league of titles. I mean, obviously, he's obviously not going to get any joy in Europe because they were out, out quite early. It'd be nice for him just to finish on something like that. But, uh, I mean, I'm sure this is something we'll touch on in another video. Uh, there's rumours that contract negotiations are going well and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So it might not be as much. Um I agree with you in a way about Atletico, though. It would be nice for them to win as well, in a way, because obviously they signed Suarez on a free after uh, Barcelona decided that they didn't need him. And especially in really bad circumstances as well, wasn't it? It was it a was. case where they, they just they weren't thankful. I think it was something to do with their president, was just kind of like, you're no longer required now. It, it was very bizarre, wasn't it? It did in a very emotional interview, Suarez, about that it. That was it. I don't think he found out in the best of ways as well. I believe it was a phone call rather than actually being brought in and properly um, yes. explained and, you know, explained the reasons that maybe his time's just up. But it was done over the phone, which, um, yeah. especially in the first half of the season, he was so clinical and he was one of the reasons that um, Atletico had that lead. So... You know, would it would it be nice if they did finally bring the title home? Possibly would be as well. I, I mean, I must be honest, I probably should have checked this before we did the video. Their last title was around seven or eight years ago, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, and since then, it's been the usual dominance by the top two. I, I think I agree. I think if Madrid, Atletico Madrid weren't to win it, I think I'd like to see Messi win it with Barcelona um, because I am a Messi fan out of the Ronaldo Messi thing. So I guess... Maybe I'm leaning towards that way as well. You know, every every football fan's got a got a preference. But do you think do you think this has any impact on um, the way we still look at the uh, title races in England? What's your what's your brief opinion before we wrap things up? I think it's one of them, isn't it? With the if rounding it back to the Premier League, we for so many years now we've talked about the fact that the Premier League is the most competitive league and we've touched on this before but it just hasn't been the last few years especially when you talk about the title chase I mean obviously at the moment it's nice seeing West Ham Leicester challenge for those top four places but in general I mean you know Liverpool ran away with the title last season City ran away with it this one pretty much I mean you know, you look at that second eleven that they put out in the league in the uh, at the weekend, and that was just. I mean, to have two teams of eleven like this, um, how can we sit yeah. there and you know complain about other leagues not being competitive? I think I think the French league has had a much more competitive league this yeah. year as well. PSG. Um, that is a one-off, though. I'm, I'm definitely yeah. not going to get carried away with the bloody French league, but. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, guys, um, this is a very quick video. We just wanted to give an update on the title race in Spain. We believe it deserves um, a bit of recognition, really. It's really exciting. I must be honest, I haven't watched a lot of Spanish football this season. I'm not going to be one of those people that sits here and says, I'll oh, watch every European game because I don't. But I am <laughs> going to keep an eye up. I am going to keep an eye on this, um, honestly. Yeah, definitely on the same. Uh, I'll be keeping an eye on this, see how it closes out. And yeah. as I say, it'll be interesting. There's still four in the race and it could go yeah. anyway. And, you know, for those that haven't, uh, probably haven't got into it at all, I'd probably recommend starting off with this weekend because that is going to be a massive decider, isn't it? Big games this weekend. Yeah. Big games. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you. See you later.